Hello my viewers. Many of you undoubtedly already know that there are different sizes of copper tubing that is commonly used in refrigeration. And I want to show you some of the most common sizes. For example, here's quarter inch, the 5 16 3 8 half inch, 5 8 3 quarter, 7 8 inch and 1 8 inch and 3 8 inch and 5 8 Now there are larger sizes than uh, inch and 5 8 that are used, but those are the most commonly used in, in refrigeration and air conditioning. And now Notice too that I didn't show you one inch. The reason is because it's not really all that common. Believe it or not, one inch copper tubing is not all that common. For some reason, uh, suction lines are going to be seven eighths, or they'll jump all the way up to inch and one eighth. They seldomly use one inch. I have here some seven eighths copper tubing. Now, in a pinch, you can actually take a measuring tape and hold it over the outside of the tubing to measure. In this case, you can see that it is 7 eighths. Another method for measuring copper tubing is using a set of calipers. What you can do is you can set the calipers so that you can measure the outside diameter because refrigeration tubing is measured by the outside diameter. This particular set of calipers will actually measure one thousandths of an inch. But you can use this to measure the outside diameter of tubing and you can do the same with inside diameter but anyway right now it's claiming to be at about 880 uh, thousandths of an inch so all you really have to do is just do a little math and you can figure out what what that translate to in in fractions also when you want to it will measure the inside diameter of copper tubing as well now, inside diameter is something different. 7 eighths refrigeration translates to 3 quarter inch plumbing. Uh, because, refrig remember, refrigeration tubing is measured from at the outside diameter, and not the inside diameter. 